So if you guys have watched our channel at all, you know that we recently bought this house and we're trying to renovate it for only $20 out of pocket and turn it into a rental property. And so far in the process, things have gone very well until now. So we hired our electrical contractor to come over here and do some basic electrical work. What we thought was basic electrical work, but as he continued to work, he kept finding more and more things that needed addressing. We'd originally budgeted $1,200 for all this work, uh, and we are significantly over budget. We'll talk about all the issues we found and exactly how much it cost later on in the video, but right now, we gotta go make some more money. In our last episode of the $20 house flip, we left off with a budget of $464.85. Since. Today is Wednesday, which means half off day at the Goodwill Bins, which the means line is so long. Huge line, but hopefully we'll find some good stuff to stock up on to help with this budget deficit. My heart's beating really fast because there's so many people in line. I'm like, oh. That's cool. Grab that. Kangle hat. Honda Under Armour. Chucky doll over here from Rugrats. Got some glitter on him. Oh, it might be a he's a puppet. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder if he has a date on him. Yeah, applause. 1998. That's awesome. This is heavy. What is in here? Oh, I got some really gross brooks. A little peely, not worth it. Got Remington handgun cleaning kit, that's cool. Medieval people. I'm not sure why Haley didn't have a better reaction to finding three full boxes of nine millimeter ammunition at the Goodwill bins, but we talk about it later on in the video. Got a little Nike bag here. It's a little dirty, but might clean up. Get a lot of stuff today so far. Universal thread. It's just Target, but it's a cute little bag. a camelback book bag here which is usually that water brand i don't think the water pouch yeah the water pouch is not in here i think that's still be worth it though i haven't found much yet and there are a ton of people here today jeez louise there's a lot of people also got a little berenstein bear berenstein berenstein who knows little mandala effect there I'll go ahead and grab him he's from 1996. Got a little yoshi here Super Mario. It looks a little dingy, but no holes. Just toss them in the wash. Also got a Five Nights at Freddy's here. Is this a Funko? Yeah. Funko 2017. It's probably a pretty good one. It's a cool Green Bay Packers hat. It's a little like bent, but I think that'll shape up. Maybe 10 bucks or so. This is kind of cool. This is like a reversible Gamecock jacket. Trying to find a brand. I think I'm gonna grab that. Got some. These are some sort of like 3D glasses from PlayStation, I think. Sony PlayStation 3D glasses with the charging cables. I'll grab those. It's half off today, so everything is like a, is like a 89 cents per pound. So these two glasses probably only cost us about 50 cents or so. You guys, I have so much stuff that my bag is busting. Almost every time I come here, I found some sort of like Nike sweatpants. I got these. Nike logo. Good condition. Got a couple hats down here in full USC. We found a ton of USC stuff. This is brand new. I don't know what the retail was, but we'll grab that. Look at that. Little Adidas trefoil hat. It was in pretty good shape. It's got a little discoloration on the bill there, but toss it in the wash. Also here, we got one of the Birkenstock potato shoes. Just be in pretty good shape, but of course we don't see the other one anywhere. So let me 
dig around a little bit, see if we can come up with this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right here. We need a tread left on the bottom. A little appealing right there, but I still think these will sell. Over here we got this pair of Brooks Pure Connects. Pure Connects, uh, I don't know if there's a number to them or anything, but they look to be in pretty solid condition. Women's size nine. There's no insoles, but it's not a huge issue. These are probably some of the lower, mo more lower value Brooks, but in pretty good shape. I think we can get 15 or 20 bucks for them. They're gonna be like maybe $2 here. I don't know what this brand is, is but it's do a tag. Fishing shirt. That's cool. You guys look at these baby hirachis. So cute. Okay, this is just like a screen print new Star Wars shirt. The look at this thing. It's so cute. I actually think there's another one inside of it. Yeah, because there's like two here. Yeah. Two little Yoda shirts. How cool. Definitely grab them. This also is very modern. It's on a Nickelodeon screen print tag. It's still really cool. I think these kind of shirts do really well for us on whatnot, so I'm gonna pick that up. Found this wooden baseball bat, Rawlings Adirondack 302F Big Stick. Looks to be in pretty decent condition. I looked it up on eBay. I've never sold wooden bats before. There are currently 19 listed for sale and seven sold. So I don't know, like a 50% sell through rate. Looks like there's one that sold for $37 plus shipping, but that comes with a shirt or something. $18, I don't know. Looks halfway decent, but I'll probably leave it. I don't really feel like shipping it and it might take a while to sell. I was just digging in this bin right here and I looked on the grounds and there's this like, looks like a vintage lifeguard jacket. Water safety instructor. Looks to be in great condition. Look at that tag. Kentucky red. This has got to be from like 70s or something. It does have a rip right there in the little seam where that, I guess there's a hood in there. Amazing. Zipper says pride. Yeah, that's killer. Not sure the worth on this. It is made in USA, the Cobb Exchange. Georgia Bulldog shirt. It has some stains on it, but I feel like maybe it's worth picking up. It's only gonna cost like a dollar. Okay, you guys freaked out the last time we had Pink Floyd shirts in our what uh, This is obviously, you know, not worth much. It's 2020. It's running back though. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I just found this Columbia t-shirt. Nothing special, of course, but I feel like I have to get it because there's a dog on the back, right? I also just found this thing sitting up here. The only reason I know this brand is because we just sold it recently. Ivy Park. It was like a collab with Adidas or something. It's like a mesh full zip thing. Definitely gonna get that. All right, over here we got this bag right here it's a Datric which is a brand of golf bags on the side it does say Michelin but it's like a, a golf travel bag it's got the lock and key with it so you can unzip it put your golf clubs in there and it looks brand new I think I am gonna get it I don't think the Michelin logo will affect it too much it's got some built-in padding up here for the club heads so I'm gonna grab that and I can use it to put in put my stuff in so we don't have to worry about the hole in our trash bag anymore a Carhartt t-shirt uh, but it does have bleach stains all over it. I think I'm gonna pass even though it's a really cool color. I did find this jean purse though. It's got well it's got some stains on the bottom but it has like Shane on it and I don't know if that's the brand because I can't find anything else on it. I think that's really cool. I might pick that up and wash it. I don't think you guys my bag has ever been this good in from the bins. This is crazy. What is this? Music Town. Oh, it's 2015. Still looks cool. And yeah, it's got a back. Elton John, Drake, Van Halen. That's pretty cool. So just found this Adidas like golf pullover. It's really cool. It's got some filling, but I still think it's worth picking up, especially how cheap we're gonna get it today. Let's just make sure the zipper works here. Yeah. I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> 
Guys, I just have to shout out this movie real quick. This was my favorite VHS to watch as a kid. Shout out Bugs Life. This little Nike hat right here. It's clean. Oh, yeah. It does have a um, like Oppenheimer it. Funds embroidery on the side, but other than that, it's in good shape. I'll add it to the, add it to the golf bag. You know how old that is? Honestly, I'd probably say 60s or 50s. Yeah. Metal. Uh, honestly, I'd probably say 60s. 60s. Zip wand, zippers. Uh, maybe shape. early 60s, late yeah. 50s. Definitely. Because uh, if it were later in the while. 60s, this all of this would have been plastic like this guy. Okay. Well, actually, this makes me think 60s. Okay. Because if it were 50s, they would both be metal. Okay. Sweet. But yeah, that's a little cool. Pads too. Yeah. Water safety is nice. Oh yeah. Just sitting on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You threw it back. I will have to do some repairs, but it's too. Oh yeah, it does need a little stitch on the sleeve. But yeah, stitch on the I mean, sleeve and the like the hood areas. Yeah, but like it's like seventy years old. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab it. It's so light too. It's got ten cents. Because unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put the Birkenstocks back. I didn't realize that they're like super, super peely. More so than we could fix with just some shoe goo over here. Is this like an Everlast like sleep thing? Knockout box. Yeah, looks like a nightgown. Got these two hats just sitting here. North Carolina Tar Heels. Looks like a pretty old sports specialties tag. And we got a nice Eagles hat. It's dirty, but we just throw both of these in the wash. Maybe they'll come pretty clean. Josh. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Shane. So Shane. just be flipped. Finally. Oh, finally. <laughs> what's up, finally. Man? What's up? How you doing? I'm so good. You got um, found some decent anything? stuff today. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. A lot of people here today, though. Yeah, I see that. I got here super late. I just walked in. Yeah. You can still find some stuff. Though. I hit up a bunch of the thrift stores in Lexington. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm going to get this. It's kind of cool. These shoes just sitting right here. Somebody must have put them back. Clark's. Clark's little, uh, like, insulated footy. Footy slippers. These are faux fur lining. Clark's isn't a great brand, but these are super clean. Really like the details, like almost like smocking along the ankles. Women's seven, I believe. Go ahead and grab those. We got a bikini top here, which normally we don't buy, but this is uh, Victoria's Secret. Very sexy. Victoria's Secret 36C. I think I'll go ahead and grab that. Haley has informed me that this is in fact a bra and not a bikini top, but I still think it's gonna be worth a good amount of money. I picked this t-shirt just now. I got so excited because I thought it was vintage, but it's from uh, the Rocky movie. So it's large screen print, but still a super cool graphic on there. I don't see any stains or holes or anything. So I'll go ahead and grab that. I think I've exhausted this bin and Haley is and also exhausted. She's <laughs> hovering. I've got a golf bag filled with good stuff. She's got a huge trash bag filled with hopefully good stuff. I had to double bag it, I was exploding. I think it was a pretty good day. I'm gonna go check out, see what the damage is, and see how much profit we got. 35.15, all right. Thank you so much. So after that Goodwill bin strip, we currently have $429.70. A couple days ago, we did a whatnot auction with a lot of the stuff from the last video, and that was very fruitful, just to give you guys an idea. Wow, with that Nike hoodie uh, from last video sold for 11 bucks. Guy Harvey swim trunks sold for six. Uh, we got the the mountain hardware jacket the blue fuzzy one from the last video It sold for $20 and then this person trends or trash on uh, Whatnot told us to give it away. So she bought it for $20 and we gave it away to random person Amy 1563 So that was all fun. One of our best sales was that sealed Pokemon mega constructs box from the last video that one sold for $47 really good there uh, a couple other smaller sales like the Columbia button-down plaid shirt sold for nine bucks uh, Columbia rain jacket the purple one Haley found that sold for 27 that was nice so you guys get a pretty good idea after everything said and done we sold a total of 50 items from the last video $915 in gross sales and after fees we made $769.18 we also had a few eBay sales come in we sold the a lot of three Carhartt shorts so we picked up in the last video uh, for 50 bucks plus shipping we sold those Ariat men's work boots we picked those up at the Goodwill bins like three episodes ago those sold for $45 plus shipping shipping. We sold a pair of Carhartt pants Haley got in the last video for 15 bucks plus shipping. We sold the Peloton shoes from the last video for $49.99 plus shipping. We sold the blazer, the free people blazer that Haley found at the uh, Goodwill last video, 40 bucks 
plus shipping on that. And I think that's everything from the house flip. So after all eBay fees and shipping and everything is taken out, that should be $174.99 from eBay sales. We also sold a pair of Kizix shoes. They're the ones that have like the breakdown heel you could slip your foot in. We got them maybe four episodes ago in the house flip series. I was gonna list them on eBay and I was mentioning that in a whatnot show the other day. And then somebody in the show asked what size they were and I showed them and everything and they ended up buying them on whatnot. I think it was like $32. So we got $27 after whatnot fees for those. So when we take our 429.70 starting, add the 769.18 from the whatnot auction, add the 27 from the Kizik's on whatnot, and add the 174.99 from the eBay sales. That should give us a new total of $1,400.87. But we also bought more stuff. So we went back to Home Depot the other day, picked up a few more last minute plumbing supplies as well as a couple of light fixtures. And that was $120.47. And then the next day was a Lowe's trip. We picked up some drywall supplies. So a couple of drywall taping knives. We picked up some stripping gel because Haley tackled the project of stripping the paint off the front door. She's been working very hard on that. So I'm brushing a thick coat. I'm assuming, I don't know. Is that it's pretty thick. Enough? I didn't like fully get everything off of here because I think we're just going to sand and paint it. This is not like a wood color or anything, but it still looks pretty ugly. Josh does say that it has to look ugly before. It's got to get uglier before it gets prettier. Exactly. And we also had Haley's brother Kyle come over and help us do some of the drywall stuff. Say hey, Kyle. Hey, y'all. This is Kyle, my brother. He's helping us. Uh, spread the bubble gum on the ceiling. Yeah. We were just trying to mud the bathroom ceiling just to see how it looked because it has the popcorn on there. We did a couple of basic drywall patches. I was removing some baseboard to tackle those drywall patches. So just basic stuff like that. And that trip was $132.35. And when we account for all those purchases, that should put us at $1,148.05. But we bought some more stuff. We went to see our friend Steven over at Overstock Bins in West Columbia. He has like a liquidated type store and he actually had some appliances so we got an over-the-range microwave with a built-in hood vent it was like a like a floor model one that worked fine but it had like a dent in the side it was originally like 360 bucks and he only charged us a hundred dollars for that which is exactly what we needed that will put us at 1,048.05 but then I found a really sweet deal on Facebook marketplace I was just perusing at Facebook marketplace and I found a stainless steel Frigidaire dishwasher that works great and they're selling it for only 50 so I'm gonna load up the trailer and go pick that up. That'll do. I do want to give a quick shout out to Haley for leaving her wallet in the glove box because I was so excited about the price and availability of, the, of this dishwasher that I forgot to get cash to, to pay, for, pay for this thing. So luckily, Haley had me covered. And there she goes, folks. The $50 stainless steel Frigidaire dishwasher. Works great. They said they had a couple issues with the latch sometimes, but seems to be working fine now. It's got a couple little scratches on the front, but hey, 50 bucks. It's a lot better than eight or nine hundred dollars whatever this thing costs new and when we take out the fifty dollars that we spent on this dishwasher that leaves us with nine hundred and ninety eight dollars and five cents but if you guys remember the beginning of this video we had some very expensive electrical issues the original quote for all the electric work was like nine hundred and eighty dollars and we actually have already budgeted twelve hundred dollars because i expected something to go wrong and you know, I wanted a little bit extra of that. So we've already taken out $1,200 out of our budget to cover electrical, but our total electric bill actually came out to over $2,100. Some of it was just like upgrades. Like we put, we had more um, GFI outlets than I thought we were gonna have. We put in a little USB outlet over here for phone charging. But a couple other things I just wasn't thinking about. We're gonna do an island right here in the middle and building codes, if your island is more than like four feet, you have to have an outlet on either side. So we had to run another line under the house for just the island. We had to run a line over here for the dishwasher because this kitchen didn't have a dishwasher before. So that was just a lot of extra wire, a lot of extra work. Um, we've got all these lights that we that we fixed. This, the kitchen circuits were all mixed up. Like everything in here was on one circuit with the laundry room. And I don't know how they didn't have constant trips on the breaker box or whatever because that's a lot of stuff on one circuit so we had to put in a new circuit for like this side of the kitchen and the laundry room and all that just kept adding up and adding up we also only thought we put a bathroom fan in the guest bathroom let's head over there 
So if you guys remember, this used to be a ceiling fan. So I was like, oh, can we, we can replace the ceiling fan with a bathroom vent fan. That was gonna, I think it was like 250 bucks for the labor because we had to run the vent from, you know, from here through the attic out to the soffit. But we also didn't have a fan in the other bathroom, the primary bathroom. So we had to do one in there as well. So that was 500 bucks just in those two fan labor only. The fans themselves were like $75 or so, but we'd only bought one. So it was just a lot of stuff that kept surprising us. And with surprises come dollar signs. In the original quote of like $980 was also including changing out all the ceiling fans. But since he hasn't done that yet, he left that off. So the 2100 and whatever, I'll show you guys the invoice here on the screen. Whatever that is, does not include installing the ceiling fans. So while we've been at the house today doing some work off camera, I did take a time lapse of installing one ceiling fan. We got that one up. And although I do hate installing ceiling fans, I do think it would be a good way to save a lot of money because he did add to the invoice that if he, if we wanted him to come back and install the ceiling, ceiling fans, it would be like, I think it was $340 for three of them. It's like $115 a piece. I hate it, but I think it would be a good move at this point in the house flip to tackle as much stuff as we possibly can do ourselves to save the most money, especially since we went almost a thousand dollars over budget just on the electrical work. Our neighbors over there have a golden retriever and we panicked. I was like, Haley, Haley, code red. We have a he did. golden he retriever. Did. <laughs> so we've been talking to them for the last like 20 minutes. We showed them the house and all this stuff. Super nice people in this neighborhood. Just finished installing this new kitchen light. Got the power turned back on. Wrong switch. Wrong switch. Hey, I'm not super crazy about this color light, this like warm light, but there should be a little thing on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that to adjust the color. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I like that a lot more. More like natural daylight color. I think that looks. I think it looks a lot better. I will say that we did splurge a little bit on a slightly more expensive bathroom exhaust fan for the primary bathroom. Uh, it's a little bit brighter, a little bit quieter, and also has a built-in Bluetooth speaker function, so you can connect your phone to it and play music. It was like $20 more expensive than the other bathroom fan, so... Uh, Worth I think it. that was worth it, yeah. So again, our total bill for all the electrical work was $2,192.50. We had already set aside $1,200 out of the budget to cover this bill, but unfortunately it increased by $992.50. And since we only currently have $998.05, that means after we pay this electric bill, we will only have $5.50 left in our house flip budget. So at this point, we have the smallest amount of money in our house flip budget that we have had throughout the entire series. And that was a little stressful, but we still have everything we got at the bins earlier on in this video. So yesterday when we got back home, we did a quick whatnot auction with like 20 things from that haul, all the stuff that didn't really need cleaning. Uh, and it was fairly successful. We sold uh, like the Redskins visor sold for 11 bucks. Uh, we sold the women's Brooks, the Brooks uh, Pure Connect. Those sold for $19. That was a little bit cheaper than they sell on eBay. Uh, Haley sold that Pink Floyd t-shirt for 17 bucks. The Ivy Park mesh bomber jacket, that actually sells for like 40 to 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, and it went for $19. So somebody got a really good deal on that one. I do want to shout out Mama Avatar on whatnot. She was a new buyer for us in that show. And she bought four things for a total of $81. The Rugrats Chucky Puppet was actually one of our highest selling items from that haul. 34 bucks on that, $23 on the Mandalorian t-shirt. So Mama Avatar, really appreciate your support there. You guys get the idea. A couple things do better than we expect. A couple things do worse than we expect. It all balances out. And in this one, we did a total gross sales amount of $349. Whatnot fees usually come out to about 11, 11 and percent after everything is said and done. So that should net us $308.86. Let's just round that down to $308 even. So currently sitting at $313.50, that is a much better place to be than $5.50 for sure. And we still have a lot of stuff from earlier on in this video that we have not sold on whatnot yet. We had to get all the stuff clean. We got the little Hirachis, those came out nice. Got a couple plush, got that really nice vintage denim Shane purse. Might put this one up on eBay. I think it goes for like 25, 30 bucks. Nike bag, some plush. Fun fact, I was at the, the flip house today. I went over there to um, do a couple things. And when I was leaving, I looked in the trash at our neighbor's house and they had these daggum Air Forces literally just sitting in their trash can. I mean, the bottoms are a little dirty, but 
overall, they're pretty solid and uh, there's not even any creasing in the toes or anything. So turning trash shoes into, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 bucks, depending on how clean we can get them. Pretty good find. I think since we found it in the trash at the neighbor's house, at the flip house, we can count it in the flip house budget. So those will be in a whatnot auction coming up soon. And we also have several things from older episodes that haven't sold yet. So we've got like this Mount Rushmore t-shirt. We've got, I think this is that Vans long sleeve t-shirt from two videos ago, the Snuggy. we had to get that washed. That one's ready to go. And we also have this item, which I think is our most expensive item from the series. It's the leather, uh, I forgot the brand, the leather Carolina Panthers jacket. It's got the huge Carolina Panthers thing on the back. We've got this listed on eBay, I think for $175. Um, we've sent offers as low as like $140, I think, and we haven't got any bites yet. But fingers crossed that that sells soon and we can add all that stuff to our budget. We also have all these hats and one pair of shoes from today's video that we had to get clean. Those have not sold yet. We also have the Carolina Gamecocks reversible bomber jacket probably going to put that up on ebay we've got the golf carrying case i thought i was going to put that on ebay but it's only worth like 20 bucks or so so i might just throw that up on whatnot uh but yeah we have a lot of stuff available still a lot of potential on the horizon and i'm just so excited about this house flip and how far we've come and it's also kind of exciting to think about how much farther we have to go while i was working on the edit for this video i realized we never talked about the ammunition that Haley found at the goodwill bins in terms of value it's probably worth like 25 bucks a box so about 75 dollars for the three boxes so really killer find but we're not going to sell it we're going to keep it for personal use we've got several nine millimeter weapons we could always use more ammunition for it but if we wanted to sell it we could take it to the flea market or sell it locally to friends and family whatever whatever you want you don't need any special permits or anything like that to sell ammunition or guns private party in most states it's so funny because every year right after the masters Haley and i both get really motivated to play golf i know you most of you guys probably know i play golf but Haley actually plays golf too and i came out here after filming the video and she had her clubs out here hitting to the golf net she's got a little golf hat on over there looks so cute she asked if we could go to the driving range today and how can i say no <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that face. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button for us. Hit the subscribe button for us down below if you haven't already. And we will catch you guys on the next one.